Hey, what's up guys? I've got another countdown for you, and this one's a little bit opinionated, but I think that almost everyone could agree that there's some places on this list that are quite beautiful either way. Unless your idea of beauty is like a war zone or something. <laughs> also, this video contains mainly RuneScape 3 images, just simply for the fact that people have taken much more beautiful pictures while playing with HD graphics that make for a better landscape photo, I think at least. So let's get the countdown started. Number 10, The Nature Altar. This place, just as its name suggests, is filled with quite a lot of nature. There's even birds with their nests on top of the stone hinges, which are also covered in vines, and this place is just all around beautiful. I also think that even though this place is obviously covered heavily with so much foliage and nature all around, it doesn't even take away from the beauty here, if that makes sense at all. It's not too much, and it's not too little either. It's almost perfection, in my opinion. Number 9, Baxtorian Falls. Not so much just the waterfalls here, but more so the entire area is just sort of a perfect setting, I think. You've got beautiful waterfalls and such, but at the same time, there's a house on top of the waterfall. You can't tell me that you wouldn't like to have your house on top of a waterfall. I think living right next to a giant waterfall in real life would be so peaceful to wake up to in the morning. This place, for a long time actually, before the game really developed into what it is today, always used to be classified as being one of the most beautiful places in RuneScape 2, and also even during the RuneScape Classic days as well. Well. Number 8, The Iceberg. Located at the most northern part of the RuneScape map, this secluded island of ice has got to be on the list of being one of the most beautiful places in RuneScape. There's also an army of penguins on it. I don't know if that counts as being a part of the beauty, but yeah. I think what attracts me to this place is the sheer seclusion of it and how I've always thought that cold places similar to this place in real life were always pretty like Antarctica or, you know, Superman's house. I guess. <laughs> Number 7, Xanaris. I feel like I had to include this place. Throughout my days of playing RuneScape, I've met so many players who get so shocked whenever they visit Xanaris for the first time. It's like being in a dream when you first entered the city, especially in the olden days of RuneScape when Xanaris used to be blue and a lot more colorful. And I could be wrong, but I think all the pixies wandering around are sort of like adding to that effect too of being in the dream. Either way though, blue or green, this place still doesn't look like anything I've ever seen on the planet that exists, and that's what I think makes it appear so magical and beautiful looking. Number 6, the Gnome Stronghold, specifically after the HTML5 beta was released. When you play on the beta version of RS3 and go to this place, it now really feels as if you're in one big giant treehouse. It's very thick with trees everywhere, and it looks more like a place that could actually be livable in the real world in my opinion. Whenever I was a kid and I thought, treehouse? These pictures were basically a prime example of what was happening inside my head. Number 5, the desert. Simply for the fact that it's deadly and in the middle of nowhere. There's a lot of places in the Caridian Desert that are abandoned and look like ghost towns. Just the size of the desert itself is why I chose this place. I walked around the desert once in RuneScape 3 whenever the HD graphics first came out with no gear on and a lot of water skins just to admire the beauty of it actually. It really feels like you're stranded when walking through it and that help is like so far away from you. Number 4, the Enchanted Valley. The only way you can get here is by using the fairy rings, and what I really like about this small area is that whenever you do get inside, your player will actually be standing behind the gorgeous waterfall here. This is one of those places I'd like to go to to like escape from the rest of the world sometimes. The tree spirit can attack me all she wants. I would stay here forever. <laughs> Number 3, Runespan, and specifically the middle level of it. Whenever I first saw this place, my jaw dropped. Jagex did an amazing job on this place right here. Whenever you look down, there's literally nothing and you're just floating. It's almost as if you're in space and if you fell, you would just fall forever. And to be quite honest, if I was falling forever in this place, I just might actually be okay with that. <laughs> Although if this place really did exist in real life, I wouldn't be able to determine whether I was sober or high as hell. And I think that's a good thing. I think it's a compliment. I promise it's a compliment. Number two, Clan Citadels. How could I not include this place, man? It's in the clouds. Your citadel can have different layouts to satisfy your clan members' opinions, and you can also choose to have it either be day or nighttime inside your layout you've chosen. And I think what mainly adds to the beauty factor on these things is that it's a social related area for you and your clan mates. You can skill together or you can just hang out and even allow guests to visit your citadels as well. I really wish me and my friends had a place like this in real life to just kick back and 
that'd be pretty sweet. Number one, Elf City or Privthenus. I was really debating on whether or not it should be number one or whether Clan Citadel should be, but once again, it all comes down to my opinion, I suppose, but there's absolutely no denying that this place is beautiful, I think. It's made entirely of crystal and is the oldest surviving settlement in Gilinor, apparently having been created during the first age. Jarex described it as being a high-level Varrock, and it's built over a large crater, which is something I've never seen before in RuneScape except for here. It's very unique in its design, and it sort of looks like something that came out of The Hobbit or something to me. It had to be my number one pick for one of the most beautiful places in RuneScape. Thanks for watching, guys. I've told you what I believe to be some of the most beautiful places in RuneScape are to me, and I'd really be interested in seeing what some of your opinions are too, so definitely post your opinion in the comment section below, and as always, if you know what I should count down next, post in the comments, and let's make it happen. Thanks guys, I'll talk to y'all later.